Hello guys, this is a small video where I, I just want to show you a capture I did on the real Amstrad CPC and the reason I did it was that um, uh, a long shot of Logon system has released uh, CPC Sears DC Compendium and also the Saker program which is uh, a massive uh, amount of CRTC tests uh, especially very hard tests that uh, many of them might be breaking on the um, on emulators with the most uh, wild uh, and obscure tricks ever and uh, a lot of the things are pretty advanced I haven't I haven't started reading it yet but I think as a CRTC noob a lot of the, the things might be all out of my league. He, he even recently... I don't think I need to translate. He found uh, some amazing tricks. There, there is a lot of stuff there. Maybe I should start reading it so that I can understand things. But There is a lot of crazy information. Oh my god. And uh, there might be some very, very, very advanced things that uh, even he, he even found new tricks. There was there were some things that you couldn't do if the CRTC is version 2 and he found the ways to overcome and the most amazing thing the reason I made this video was because I made a capsule a lousy flickery capsule on my <laughs> with my phone on my real CPC monitor because I was reading in the Amstrad CPC demo scene in the discord here is long shot of Logon system who made the compendium and all these tricks there is a way and that surprised me in particular there is the first program on a computer that he's ever made a scro scrolling of 164th of a vertical pixel which to be emulator collected would require a screen with a resolution of 17408 vertical pixels I was like, what do you mean? 164? What? Scro sub pixel scrolling of 164. Not sure where that will be useful, but I haven't heard that before. <laughs> That's the thing. He has some things in the compendium that was never. Oh, wait, I found it. The later the beam starts, the higher the beam rises. If the beam starts to rise from the middle of a line, will rise higher by half pixel than the beam. One idea is to trigger the second date sync v sync on each of the 64 screen positions. To... I haven't heard before that the CPC can do that. I don't understand. I have to read above to understand. There is tons of information in my my senses that a lot of them are beyond what I can understand now about CRTC. <laughs> and uh, long shot this uh, like something is, is like a master of the CRTC. And I'll, I'll just show you the thing here in a flicker screen. So I will be running Shake 21, Shaker 21, which is like a sweet 
of many many CRTC tests. A lot of them don't even work on real emulators as far as I have heard. And there are two, three modules, and each module, sorry about the flicker, has a lot of weird tests. And we are running zero vertical scroll sub pixel. One six, 16th, 132, 160. Now it's running the one of the rail pixels. You can't even see it's so small that you can't even see it. 116. It's su sub pixel scrolling, 132, and then undressing space. 164th. This is the slowest. I'm interested in appointing there how it scrolls against the frame of the monitor. And now I'm just zooming up with my camera, sorry about it. There is no other way to see what's going on. <laughs> and sorry about the flickering, I don't know with capsules how to fix that wow it's not easy to see you, you can even see the RGB components So that, that's supposed to scroll 164th of a pixel. I don't know how. It's in the compendium. I have to read the beginning of the compendium, understand more about the CRTC. Isn't that amazing? That mo more uh, CRTC tricks are discovered. The, the other one uh, he was saying, uh, Longshot was saying he did uh, uh, different CRTC type cannot do certain effects, and he did. There is a line per line effect. That. Uh, will not work on a CRTC2 and he found a way to make it work on a CRTC2 I, I don't understand the details I have done very little work on, on CRTC code to even be able to comprehend it but it's all on the compendium all the information is there Wow. And that's it, guys. It's amazing. Bye.